Hi everyone, it's Sunday and I'm annoyed with my hair getting in my face. That's better. It gives me a nice sort of feminine looking ponytail of scarf, which is quite cool. This video comes in, what, three parts maybe, I think? So as you may have noticed, this isn't my normal background. The reason for that is I've come down to Cornwall. I had to see my parents for a bit. Uh, I came down on the train the other day, uh, bought a suitcase and a rucksack and a satchel and lots of stuff. Um, I got here and discovered that I had no trousers at all. That's pants for you American folk. Um, I hadn't bought any. Lord knows how, because I remember thinking, better take some trousers. Yes, right. Pulled my chair over to my cupboard, sit on it, went to get some trousers. And I, I don't know what happened. You know, I just, I, I got here and I have no trousers. I have my kilt and I have three pairs of shorts. One of which is, is cycling shorts and they're light cream. You don't really want to see that. So the other day, I went to see the new Indiana Jones movie, uh, The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, uh, with a bunch of archaeologists, actually, which made it interesting. Um... Yeah, it started out well. I enjoyed it. I'm going to try and review it here without giving away too much. Um, it started out well. Your typical sort of Indiana Jones over the top sort of fair, quite enjoyable. Um, then, yeah, then then there was a twist. But the thing is that generally, I, I don't I don't know how to say this about picking away the movie, but this kind of twist, you sort of expect it to to you to be thinking, hang on a second, is that going to turn out? Actually, is that yeah, is that going to happen? And then at the end you find out if it is or it isn't. And in this case, it's just like, oh, and by the way, like five seconds after you start suspecting it and it's kind of, you know, <laughs> you, you sort of thought you should have had to do a bit more work for that. And it's quite enjoyable. The action scenes are quite fun. Uh, I have this problem with films. I'm, I can swallow a whole, like Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Brilliant movie. Action sequence is no problem. Sure, not really physically possible, but, you know, good swashbuckling, enjoyable stuff. And then there's that bit where they, they're, they're under the boat, under the water, trying to get out to the bigger boat. And the thing is, that wouldn't work, because the boat floats on top. Because of the laws of displacement, there's, there's no way they could do that, and I don't like that sort of thing. So, um, there was a bit like that. Some guys are abseiling down cliffs, and we just don't know how to abseil. And they just grab the ropes in their hands and jump off. And if they did that in real life, they'd burn their palms and then die. So that annoyed me. Other than that, there was another bit towards the end where, where something was happening and you're like, who's doing that? Someone isn't quite what they appear to be here. And then it was the guy you totally expected it to be, which isn't really much of a twist, you know? Um, you, you sort of think it's going to be the guy you least expect, but then it's actually, oh, uh, it was him. Oh. So, yeah, it was it was all right. I mean, towards the end, it just got thoroughly ridiculous. Um, I read a review before I went to see it that... Uh, Spielberg's obsession with the supernatural had run away with him, and I think that's exactly what happened. Because before I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, come on, it's all about supernatural. I mean, eternal life, the Holy Grail, really? It's, it's not serious, is it? But, yeah, watching the end of this movie, way too much of the supernatural. So I hope I have successfully not really told you anything at all about that movie, but filled most of my video. Okay, so now I'm going to do the Marmite punishment thing. Uh, dessert spoon. Marmite down here. Also got uh, some grapefruit juice and some pickled eggs because I like those things and they have strong flavours so if the marmite's really dreadful then I'll just chase it down with some uh, some grapefruit and some vinegar apparently and it'll be nice. Hey, okay, so here making her video debut is my mother. Wave. Hello there. So here's the spoon. Slightly worried about this, it smells a little bit odd. So yeah, I didn't do it. I tried. I seriously tried. The problem with Marmite is that it's sticky, right? Because I wanted to just knock it back, no problem, but it just was stuck to my teeth. It was horrible, and I couldn't swallow it. Seriously, I was really trying to swallow it. I was just want to get the grapefruit juice in there, just knock it back and just go, and I just couldn't. And I'm sorry, so if you want to burn with me again, you can. Um, in other news, that was so horrible that I've come up with a really horrible punishment for you, Kate, so look forward to that. So there, that is, or isn't, um, as it may be. Uh, yeah, Abby, uh, I'm, I hope you're okay. I'm guessing that you're having internet problems because you said you were going back home, so maybe there are internet problems there. Uh, I hope everything's okay, and hope to see you tomorrow. 